Forgive us, Father, for we are about to sin and be very naughty boys. Guys, I'm really sad. Did you guys hear Daft Punk disbanded? Yeah, we heard. I'm so fucking sad. I mean, I have a person who posted uh, Daft Punk disbanding after not doing any real work for eight years is like the most American thing ever. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but they're not American. They're fucking. Uh, they're they're French. I know. French. That was the funny part. <laughs> but um. What's amazing? What, what's amazing is like I really I haven't listened to any of their music since like fucking Tron Legacy came out, and like when I say I haven't listened to any of their music, I mean obviously I've listened to their their stuff on the radio and stuff, but like like Tron Legacy was the last Daft Punk like album that I bought, and uh, when I heard it, I was like, you know what? They should have just fucking given the 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 handle to someone else, you know. And no, apparently it works so well with uh, Kanye. What did what did Kanye? What happened with Kanye? When uh, when he made uh, when he sampled "Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger." Oh yeah. Well, um, so a lot of people are, are are on that same mindset of like just let somebody else take the name of Daft Punk. Um, what? Yeah, there's a, there's apparently a, a pretty good number of people that are like give just instead of like disbanding the band because they wear masks and shit so nobody really knows what they look like i mean obviously we do know what they look like but they were like well, you what know who i think could uh definitely step into that role who key this guy oh my god <laughs> oh god <laughs> are we, are we doing another idiot. fucking tobias fumke shit again yeah, totally. He's an he's an anaurapist. Um, but somebody was saying like you know just do like a Dread Pirate Roberts thing where you just keep replacing the the singers. So like you know eighty something years down the line, we've still got Daft Punk, but it's just like four generations later. Right. I don't know. I'm a. I've become more of a fan of things ending lately. Yeah. Well, good news is I Especially got that after uh, being a comic fan. Now I'm just like, you know what? Maybe sometimes things should just end. Anything mm. in comics recently that should have ended? Um, I don't think we needed metal. First off, why no. are we doing death metal now? I liked Dark Knight's metal. It wasn't okay. good. It was a first mess. Off, no it shit, it was a mess. That's why it I liked way it. too long. No, but the thing is, that. now they've got death metal. Right. They don't need that. Just fucking le- let it lie, you know? Yeah. So, um, you guys know those Hickory Farms things? Like the Hickory boxes. Hickory smoked buttholes. The Hickory smoked sausages and shit. So, um, I got one. Mark or, smokes buttholes. I got one on clearance at, uh, at the store earlier. So I'm just going to be. Totally no. <laughs> if that's something you should be bragging about. I'm not bragging. I'm just letting you know. If you hear the sound of what, what appears to be a tubular shape in my mouth, that's what it is. It's not a dick. Mm. Oh, guess there's a first for everything. Mm. <laughs> it's smoky. Mm. Hickory smoked buttholes. All right, we got our uh, we got our next T-shirt. <laughs> We can't, we can't, because that's actually from something. Oh, damn. Bitch. From a, an animated series called Dr. Tran. Oh. My. God. They're not hickory smoked buttholes, they're hickory smoked dickables. Oh, they are. Dr. Right. Stan, he'll be our... <laughs> Dr. Well, that means we can still have our hickory smoked buttholes. I haven't watched Dr. Trans Dickables in so fucking long. <laughs> if you listen carefully, you can hear the clip clop of Goodmonts and the Dickable Dog. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> the Dickable Dog. You know what else is a fucking amazing uh, video by that same guy, by that same group is uh, <laughs> the Angry Little Cinnamon Bun. Which I'm actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Brandon, I think I you're the one who showed you, it to me. I like, right after I moved these. to Austin. Yeah. God damn. Chip. Good months in the dickable dog. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's a fucking classic. Um, oh my god, guys, I made something fucking awful the other day. 
Shocking. Oh, sounds about right. So um, I'm doing a play. I was I'm doing a playthrough of Crash Bandicoot on my Twitch channel, and then editing the videos to put on my personal YouTube channel because it's not as cool to have uh, for sleepy boys if it's just me playing. Um, anyway, so there's a level that I compared to um, the Indiana Jones movies, and it looks which movie? Like, uh, actually, multiple because it has the uh, the giant boulder that uh, you know Crash gets chased by a giant boulder, which you know, is a pretty much a staple of Crash Bandicoot. Um, right. And then there's also, there you go, there's uh, double, like, double-crossed crosses, which uh, I thought was, like, the symbol of the Brotherhood from uh, Last Crusade. Um, I, 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 oh. I forgot there was actually, like, a third line on it. But anyway, so while I was, while I was editing it, I was like, you know what, fucking, let's, let's throw this fucker together for the video. And so this is this is my creation. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that as a uh, print that off as a poster and hang it up on my wall. I think oh my dear go God, I love it. Right, your dear Gord. The only problem. No, never mind. Wait. What were you gonna say? I was going to say the only problem I have with it is the only problem I have with it is the fact that you use the last crusade instead the of only razors. Reason, well, I used the last crusade because I was talking about the last crusade in the video. Uh, okay. I'm actually seriously considering just doing one for all three of them. Oh God. But three, um, there's four. What, there are three Indiana Jones films. There's not four <laughs> Indiana Jones movies. What are you talking about? Yeah, what there's a crazy an... world do we live in where that would have happened? Yeah, okay. And next you're going to tell me that there are aliens in Indiana Jones. That's fucking Yeah, next bonkers, thing you're going to tell me that they get Shia LaBeouf to play his kid or something. God. <laughs> not kid. He's the next indie. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut up with that bullshit. Did you guys hear what happened while they were filming? Uh, I can't imagine it would be any worse than anything I can possibly imagine. Well, so Shia, uh, that's when he got in uh, his drunk driving accident and oh, yeah. broke his thumb. Right. Yeah, yeah. And Harrison Ford calls him up in the hospital. And he's like, hey, so I okay. heard you in an accident. Are, are you okay? And Shia LaBeouf was like, uh, yeah, you know, I just, um, I, I'm good. I just, I just broke my thumb. He goes, oh, just, you just broke your thumb, but you're doing all right. And Shia's like, yeah. And he goes, okay, then get your ass to set. We're filming today. I love uh, Harrison Ford. Harrison so Ford. Yeah. <laughs> so here's a fun fact: since we're talking about the Indiana Jones franchise and Harrison Ford, did you know that there's actually a can like, or I guess it's not technically Star Wars canon anymore, but there was a uh, a comic done by Dark Horse Comics that uh, had um, Indiana Jones finding Han Solo's corpse. I feel That's like I feel like I have heard that, but I also feel like it was a lie. Ow. No, no, I like I, I, uh, what it was was it was one of like, uh, what if kind of stories, um, and it was basically like the end of Han Solo was he crash landed on an unknown planet which turned out to be Earth, and then Earth. like, yeah, it turned out to be Earth, and what then like on Earth that people forgot about it, an unknown to the Star Wars franchise, uh, right? It's far, far away. It's a long, long time ago, bro, and far, far away. Yeah, in a galaxy oh, far, far away. Neverland? It probably is. Oh. It's always um. Neverland. <laughs> so what ends up happening is, yeah, so uh, Han Solo, or they, they crash land the, the Millennium Falcon on Earth, and a couple hundred years later, uh, Indiana Jones catches this, uh, catches wind from a bunch of Native Americans uh, that there is, you know, a Sasquatch roaming around. Turns out it was just fucking Chewbacca. Really? Yeah, it's Chewy, and so he does some investigating, comes across the ship, and he's like, huh, this seems familiar, as if to imply that Han Solo and, and fucking Indiana Jones have some kind of connection. Well, I mean, Ancestry, there you go. Ancestry.com? That was the entire reason they made Ancestry.com. To prove <laughs> that Indiana Jones is Han Solo's uh, kid. You know, you know what would be he's amazing? He's got many chlorians. Oh, I mean, that's the only re that that's the only explanation for half of the shit he does. <laughs> no, for for Indiana Jones. Oh yeah. 
Like he can Nobody speak, can. he can speak foreign languages. He's done, he's done fucking magic. The aliens looked at him. So it's, it doesn't even languages. matter that maybe he's just a really amazing professor, college professor, archaeologist. Um, he's also like the worst archaeologist on earth, by the way. Oh my god, are you kidding me? He destroys half the shit. He goes to archaeological aid. <laughs> I know that wasn't a real word, but I don't give a fuck. Oh, it's better, though. It, it turned out to be a better word. Yeah. Have you guys ever heard of a game called Flicky? No, but I feel like it's gross. I feel like Jeff might be on something. <laughs> it sounds gross. It sounds flicky? genital-ish. No, it's not at all. It's actually... so. It's a video game done by Sega back in the early Sounds Genesis days. Creepy. It's not. It has nothing. To, it's actually a very cool, innocent game. It's just hard as shit. Mm -hmm. um, Mark, you got to remember though. You're the one telling us about this, so I don't believe you. Okay, they released it on the yeah, Sega Genesis it. collection that they released on the Xbox. Anyway, it's this game where you play as a fucking penguin. That your your whole goal is to. Okay, well now now that I'm thinking about what I'm about to say, it sounds it sounds more <laughs> rapey. Uh, your whole goal is to pick up as many chicks as you possibly can before the uh, the tigers get to them and uh, get them to your home. To what kind of fucked up zoo is this? I don't know, but you're a. I mean, I assume you're a penguin. I can't. It's hard to say because it's like eight bit graph or sixteen bit graphics or whatever the fuck they're supposed to be. But uh, it's a lot of fun. It's also very difficult, and like the average game like length is about three minutes long. Jesus Christ! Because it's like you have. I think you start off with three lives, and then when you die, you're just game over. Well, that'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. Huh? Do you think there's such thing as a goth Mormon? No, there's uh, not. A Gorman. A, a George Gorman grill. Dude, George Gorman girls are pretty dope. Pretty dope. Oh, good. You know what's oh, really funny? Oh, is I'm as I'm racism? eating this summer sausage, I have to peel back the uh, the wrapper like a foreskin. Oh, you know, evidently, if you have a foreskin, uh, you feel more. Yes. Say again. <laughs> if you have a foreskin, there is more feeling when you play with yourself. God damn oh, it, mom and dad! Thanks for yourself. fucking me over. That's why the Christians really wanted you to get rid of it. No shit. <laughs> Look, that man. Reminds me of that dumbass thing I saw on the Is We Dummies Facebook page today. Which what one? the fuck is Is We Dummies? <laughs> There's a podcast that we listen to called Is We Dumb, and the Facebook page is Is We Dummies. It's why have fun. I not heard about this until just now? Yeah, it's is it better than it's ours? Just, it's pr it's pretty f pretty fucking great. <laughs> is it better than ours? That's all I'm asking. Oh, yeah. I would say they have a lot more practice than we do, and they're also like twice, not twice our... Ah! Yeah. 40 yeah, so like twice our age. Okay. <laughs> what? Yeah. Twice our age, not Sorry, your age. Sorry, our so. age, not yours. God. <laughs> so inconsiderate to jump in on so, our... Anyways, the one that I saw was... Hey guys, what if nipples made a clicking noise like when I oh, click yeah. a pen? And I was like, wh what? <laughs> I mean, Fantastic. to be fair, that's kind of the same kind of shit that I ask you all the time, Brandon. Yeah, no, it is. We know. Like, Brandon, do you remember the, the hypothetical question I gave you when we were playing Banjo? Well, actually, I gave you a lot of those. Uh, my favorite it's hypothetical lot. question the I gave you. The only one I can possibly think of, Well, the only one that sticks out to me that I remember is the fucking toe beans one because I'm emotionally <laughs> scarred. <laughs> I don't remember how that question went. How did that go? I don't remember how it went either. I just remember I just don't like it. Well, then there was the one like, what animal would you make out with? And you're like, I don't know, like a white tiger, I guess. Yeah. And that's, Ooh. that's how, yeah. You're going to come away with scars. Okay. Um, but, but uh, the one that. One that I remember because oh, yeah, I'm because I'm going through and re-editing our banjo kazooie playthrough for uh, to find different things to talk about that we talked about on there. Um, right, because we're going to end up redoing it anyways. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but the, the one thing that uh, that I remember was it was when we were fighting Clicker or Clacker or whatever the fucking the giant crab. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Brandon. That sounds so mildly racist. 
Why? Just the name. Clicker? Clicker or Clacker or whatever. <laughs> or worse, Click Clacker. <laughs> Racism. <laughs> but um, I was like, Brandon, would you rather have a crab of this size dangling from both nipples at all times? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Or once a week, have me come over to your house and give you uh, electroshock therapy to your testicles. And you're like, uh, can I choose neither? Because neither of those sound like fun. And I was like, I don't know, man. The electroshock therapy seems pretty fun for me. And you're like, just fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I think that Brandon, good. I don't think Brandon wants me to shock his nutsack. No, I really don't. I don't trust you with the voltage. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. It's not the voltage you have to worry about. It's the amp. Oh, it is. It's the amps no, it's you have to worry amps. about. Well, I, either way, I don't care. I don't trust it. Wow. After all we've been through. Yes. Yeah, that's why he doesn't trust all me. we've been through. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That is very fair. But see, here's the thing is, at least I knew the difference, man. I got to peel back the foreskin on this sausage. Mark, you don't have a foreskin. Mark, that sounds like the title to your autobiography. Brandon, mm. I'm not talking about an, a penis. I'm talking about the this uh, Hickory Farms summer sausage that has the wrapping on it. I'm peeling back Hickory, the wrapping. Hickory smoked tickables? Mm. I'm going to give you some of those peach harvest Mormon dickables. And those ones don't just have a uh, wrapper you got to unwind. They got an entire uh, potato cluster. bag sack. They got a whole cluster. You got to break away. <laughs> and steam them. And steam. <laughs> what about the, you know what? I'm really craving some ahi Dijon jicama dickables. <laughs> hey, guys. If you just can't get enough of Sunrise with the Sleepy Boys, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at SR Sleepy Boys. Or you can check out our YouTube channel, Sunrise with the Sleepy Boys. You can also find us on Spotify, Radio Public, Anchor, Breaker Radio, and coming soon, Apple Podcasts.